Hey guys, and welcome back to Fall New Vegas. This might be the final video. Might be. We are literally at that point in the game. I've, you know, I decided to check out what's up with Julia. I looked into it. You gotta be idolized with the followers of Apocalypse. And you usually do that by giving them shit. Frankly, don't care enough. <laughs> so, we're gonna get this show on the road. And it's time. It is time. The long-awaited Battle of Hoover Dam, the second Battle of Hoover Dam that everyone has been yapping about. Oh god, the second Battle of Hoover Dam is happening. Time matches. Time matches. And we have pretty much everybody ready to support us, minus the cons. I sent them away because I was a nice guy. Let's go. Are you ready to head for the dam? Great. So I've been looking over Mr. House's force projections and running some calculations. It turns out there are two ways we can win this thing. Hear that? We have options. You could route the dam's power output to the facility under Fortification Hill. That'll restart its reactor, just like you did with the Lucky 38. That'll wake up the Securitron army you left on standby and give us enough force to push the Legion and the NCR straight out of the Mojave. The other option is destroy the dam's generators. Without those, it's just a big bunch of concrete. The NCR won't have any reason to stick around. You don't have to decide yet. For now, all you have to do is take this override module and install it on the terminal in the power control room. Good luck. See you at the dam. Let's do this thing. I can set this baby to detonate, but I still can't use a piece with these hands. Here's this rifle shell. We pop some heads. So for now, the NCR is not our enemy. They don't realize that we have betrayed them just yet. And we're going to use that to our advantage. Like, I, I, again, I, I don't know what to aim at half the time. I really don't. <laughs> like, the you know, it doesn't line up. So sometimes, that's why my aiming be like sus. I know you motherfuckers be looking at me like, the hell? What's he aiming at? Like, <laughs> yeah, like my brain is trying to be like, hmm. Iron sights or the button? Iron sights or the button? And by the button, I just mean that. You know, the, uh, the, the dot. Oh, shit. <laughs> did I just shoot that out of his hands? I did. Oh my god. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. That, that's an NCR sniper. Okay. Yeah, the way, the way, like, this map, hold on. It's, like, so weird, the way, like, it looks sometimes. Like, I feel like Hoover Dam is, or I feel like Caesar's Camp is just so close. <laughs> like, it's just so close. How the hell did they get away with that and not have, like, an all-out, like, battle this whole time? It's all good, though. It's all ogre now. This is where the NCR is going to become hostile to us. As soon as we install this, the chip or whatever, or or destroy the generator, one or the other. Stop right there! No one is allowed into the control room. As soon as I go in the door, they're gonna start shooting me. Ah, uh, 
who dares wins? You and what army? Vini Vedi Vici. Yes, yes. Good morning. Isn't it a beautiful day today? Yo, what the fuck? It is a fantastic day today. I should be loot. Yes, just just clear everybody out. That's also a reason why I brought Veronica. Veronica doesn't. You know, she's a good kid, but she's not gonna she's not gonna cry about clapping some NCR. You bring Boone. I love Boone, but if you're not going pro NCR, I'm pretty sure Boone like he pretty much like the second you come in here, he's he loses his shit. You know he can't. He's, a, he's an NCR boy. You know. It's all good in the hood though. Cause we got Securitrons. You hear that? Yeah, buddy. Our reinforcements are here. Enclave boys have pulled up, and the bombs you heard earlier—that was Volare. That was our uh, our boomer, our boomer pals. We're driving that 52 Bomba. You got Campbell Johnson, Judah Krieger, Doc Henry, Ryan Moreno. I don't know what arcade. <laughs> Yo, Veronica's a savage. She just punched him and it was over. There's the B-52. I mean, the B-29. Is it coming to us or flying away from a bomb? You know, I, I think it just dropped the bomb. I think they only do one run anyways, but. But yeah, we got, we got allies up in this bitch. Let's get going. Damn straight we do. Oh, we have the uh, our, dude. We, we we're set up. <laughs> we don't even have to do shit. We're shooting out of fun. This is this is just fun at this point. What'd you say? What'd you call me? Call me a pro affiliate? <laughs> I'm trying to spot the wild wasteland. The only thing that's kind of like womp womp is is uh yes man didn't pull up with us he's too busy working he just sent us regular secure chons like damn yes man you know you can you can spread out bro you can come with us and help us in the final battle sheesh so this is the one time we get to actually enter the legates camp which is not the same as caesar's camp and we got enclave support with us we got we got all sorts of shit going on here we chilling hey what are you gonna do punch me <laughs> gonna come <laughs> are we gonna kill Lannis I don't know maybe I feel like it I'm feeling pretty powerful today I usually use uh you know if you have max speech you don't have to kill Lannis you know he, he just leaves he'll leave you alone Lannis is a tough cookie too so it's sometimes better to not actually fight him he's right there but I'm actually tempted to uh I'm actually feeling cocky today. Feeling really cocky with uh, with how good we're doing. And who are you to come before me? You don't bear the mark of the bear, yet you are ready for battle. Many graves in the east are filled with those who said as much, with braver words, not backed by strength. Hami, it is I got Securitrons right behind me. <laughs> bear the flag of the Legion. Kaiser's will shall be done. Caesar is dead. Kaiser's will is the will of the Legion and the West. All beneath the flag of the Great Bear exist to test the strength of the Legion. The West shall fall as the East fell, and all the tribes that stretch to the setting sun shall bear the mark of the Legion. I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. <laughs> you dare speak that name, comparing him to any man of Kai's who will only earn. Uh, you need to shut the fuck up, bruh. You think he was the best goddamn legged in the whole. Legion, bro, better than you. 
You're just a mutt. To the west shall be ours All right. <laughs> you believe your own words, even if I do not. Perhaps NCR has the strength of a cornered animal. It will not be enough to hold this place. They know nothing of my tactics or the strength of my forces. They will learn. We did take the towers easier than expected. I cannot believe even the Republic would overlook such an opening in their defenses. Yet we are at the throat of the Great Bear. Victory is at hand. You play on my instincts. Yet your intention in this... You have nothing to gain by telling me of this... trap. Unless you seek to goad me into a retreat, leaving the battlefield and leaving my honor here to be trampled underfoot by Republic cowards. Of course, and I guard myself from such acts of cowardice and jealousy. You claim that word of my coming has been given to the West so that I might die here, even as I take the dam, telling me this does not benefit you at all. You gamble with your words, and your coin is lacking. If what you say is true, then they shall answer for it. But you suggest I turn from battle to answer these crimes, when I can prove myself greater by meeting them than returning with the dam as ours. You almost convinced me otherwise. I shall make a cape of your skin, and your skull. It shall sit by my side, mute, watching as my armies march west. I shall honor your last words, and face you alone as you request. No man will say I refused your challenge. Another... Bruh, he really just dipped on me. He really just dipped on me, and then they didn't even let me get a chance to get in there. God damn, you guys are dicks. All right. I was going to let him live, but then he kind of pissed me off, so I decided to be a dick. You think I'm not going to let you die? Have you die? Whatever. See if anyone else is in here. Okay. Not letting me in. Coolio. It's at end games right here. And since this is the final video for New Vegas, New Vegas, guys, what do you want next? Right? That is the question. So comment below what you want the next game to be. Unless I decide it by then, because I got quite a few videos to upload before you guys actually get to see this video so who the hell knows who the hell knows but you know I'm already having a couple ideas ah, I love this scene great scene you're gonna love it. Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. And, um, well, <laughs> these, uh, these boys with you? <laughs> Hello there, Smiley. God, I love this scene. Like, they all just pull up, like, 
What's up? <laughs> All those fucking rangers are shitting their pants. And you asked them to put their weapons down. It's just reaching in my coat to give you a cigar. <laughs> There's just too many options here to pick. They're all great. Like, one of them is just dead ass throwing him off the cliff. Literally. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland. Fuck, talk to me like Oh, that. yeah? Who the hell do you think you are? Like, oh, yeah? To the sound of MCR oh, yeah? Yes. That's, that's what I wanted to hear. That's what I wanted to hear. Figured as much. Over here. That's all I wanted to hear. Thank you. I wanted to throw him off the cliff, but uh, it's nice to shoot him sometimes, you know. You did a super job wrapping things up, and I'm not just saying that because I have to. I didn't want to make a big deal about this until after we won, but well, I found some code snippets in one of Mr. House's data banks that will let me um reprogram my personality to be a little more assertive, basically. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to take me a while, so it'll seem like I'm offline. But don't worry, everything will be okay. I've updated the Securitron's targeting parameters, so they know what to do. Vegas will be protected. So that's where I'll be, off making a few changes. And I, I guess I'll see you around. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas' independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended, quickly. Chaos became uncertainty, then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position as an- I don't really agree power. with how they handle the ending for Independent Before Vegas, and I'll explain when he's Seattle, done talking. The worst of the Legion, the courier was the man responsible for a truly independent New Vegas. He had removed Mr. House from power over the Strip, and broken the influence of the NCR and Caesar's Legion in the Mojave Wasteland. Tabitha and Rhonda went east, through Caesar's land. Occasionally, tales of their exploits found their way back west, though few believed them. Eventually, the stories concerning the duo were collected and published, and proved to be quite popular with children. Invigorated by his travels with the courier, Raul once more took up his guns in memory of his lost Rafaela. Soon after, the Mojave was filled with tales of the ghost vaquero who hunts down those who prey on the weak. Though the wasteland became anarchic after Hoover Dam, the boomer's display of power dissuaded fortune seekers from attempting to penetrate Nellis. Veronica put her moral sensibilities aside and supported the Brotherhood's new campaign of aggression as best she could. Yet, deep down, she understood that it meant their end would surely be soon to follow. The fiends attacked Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, and, despite suffering heavy losses, overran it. They continued to be a nuisance throughout Outer Vegas, but never established full control over the area. After the courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients struggling to provide even the most basic of services. Arcade was proud to have been one of the defenders who helped repel the Legion from Hoover Dam. He was prouder still to see the area freed from the shackles of the NCR and Mr. House. Though independence for New Vegas was not all he hoped it could be, Arcade used his enclave knowledge and technology to keep order wherever he could. With New Vegas' independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. 
More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. The slaughter of the Van Graffs in the Crimson Caravan caused no end of trouble for NCR back west. Already struggling, NCR's supply line suffered further as the two caravans withdrew support until the massacre in the east was resolved. Cass lived to see the courier bring down three armies, and by her count, that was three more than she'd expected. She kept quiet about that, though. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. Thanks to the Courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. Following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, Freeside came to be known as one of the more stable areas in the region. Ironically, NCR refugees found Freeside safer than most of the rest of New Vegas, where resentment still lingers. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully, melding his own memories with that of long travels with old Lady Gibson. Shaped up by the courier's advice, the misfits distinguished themselves during the Legion's attack on Camp Golf. Mags was finally promoted to sergeant, and the rest of the misfits received an official commendation. They continued to serve with distinction for many years. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Though NCR was withdrawing from the region, Boone remained in New Vegas, finding work as a security guard and caravan scout along the highways. While he might have preferred rejoining his old unit, Boone couldn't bring himself to abandon the city where he'd met his wife. The NCR, battered by the loss of the dam, were unable to devote any troops to retaking the correctional facility from the powder gangers. As a result, powder ganger raids on caravans became an unfortunate fact of life in the Mojave for years to come. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. After Hoover Dam, Sheriff Myers runs prim with his own style of frontier justice. He deals with most folks fairly, but now and then someone winds up dead with little to no evidence against them. Although they performed admirably during NCR's defense of Hoover Dam, the Rangers fell into decline soon after. With Hanlon's plot against the occupation exposed, and Oliver denounced for losing the Hoover Dam, many rangers were greeted coldly on their return home. Few openly blamed the rangers for Hanlon's treachery, but public and political support for the military as a whole quickly dwindled. After their bold arrival at Hoover Dam, the remnants disappeared as quickly as they came. Legends of their power spread throughout the Southwest a reminder of why people once feared the sight of vertebrates in the sky. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war 
War never changes. Never changes. Da, 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 da. But uh, yeah, there's a couple of things that oh, I really want to address the independent Vegas thing. For whatever reason, the game it uh it likes to make it seem like the courier can't run independent Vegas. It always goes all oh, independent Vegas becomes a place filled with crime and this and that and it's just like yeah yeah why not you can watch some gameplay while i yap for a few more minutes but pretty much the reality is especially it really depends on your courier of course how did your courier ran things but in reality, I do think that the courier would do a much better job than House at running an independent Vegas, you know, especially now that he's done his adventuring. What else does the courier have to do? He dealt with all his loose ends. He's rich. Uh, you know, he has a fucking army that's, you know, ready to go at his will. If he wanted to, he could impose his will throughout the wasteland, but he's not really the type of guy to do that. Otherwise, he would have, you know, won Legion, right? Unless you're a Legion courier. But even then... This particular courier I played as would probably just stay here and just rock do what he has to do, you know? And frankly, I just found that pretty stupid. But that's it, guys. This is it. This is, uh, all on New Vegas is completed, you know? If you never played the game, I hope, and you watch this guy blind, you know, never play, and I hope this encourages you to play and, you know, Give you the tips that you need to play proficiently, you know, because there's a lot of things you could do to fuck up your save file, of course. I mean, I remember the very first time I played Fallout 3, I was intimidated, but I pressed on and kept replaying it until I got really nice at it. And that's what happened with Vegas, too. I just don't recall Vegas as much as I do 3, because I played 3 way more times. But that's about it. And as for the next game that I'm going to do, that is up for the bait, really. I'm. I really wanted to, I remember I talked about this a while ago, I wanted to do Stick of Truth and I was having problems with it go get a drink? crashing when I was trying to record and I think I found a solution. So if I, I'm going to try the solution now soon enough and if it works, then Stick of Truth is the next game, hands down, no questions asked. You know, by all means, in the comments, tell me what game you want to see and if I have the desire to do it, it will be done. I'll be like, you know what, I like that idea and I'll do it. Otherwise, Stick of Truth is the next game, and if I can't get it fixed, can't get it. If I can't get it fixed, then we'll probably maybe do Skyrim or Fallout 4. I, you know, I just freshly modded Skyrim hard. I modded the crap out of Skyrim. It looks amazing. It plays amazing. It's definitely harder. Um. It's certainly an experience. It, I might, what I might do with Skyrim and Fallout 4 is those runs might not even be like, like how I did Vegas or 3, you know, where I went like pretty by a book, like to the book. I, I had a plan and shit and I was going, thing, I was doing things systematically. I might just do those games like freestyle, especially Fallout 4 because I'm thinking of doing the, uh, the Thuggyverse mods, which is Depravity, Yo. Project Valkyrie. Outcast and Remnants, possibly Fusion City, probably not though, because P Fusion City just doesn't have very good performance. It does have a lot of frame dropping in certain areas, but if I I might do those with uh, some other mods sprinkled in. Of course, my my Fallout 4 has over 100 mods, so same thing with my Skyrim. So I'm thinking that one of those two games will be the next run on this channel. Maybe stick a truth if I get that thing fixed. But of course, like I said. Post in the comments what game you think should be done next. Doesn't have to be even the options right there, you know. It doesn't have to be a vote for Skyrim or, or four or whatever. Say, oh, I want this game. If I have it, if I feel like playing it, why not? Right? Why not? I'm also thinking about Borderlands, but Borderlands one has had at least the the enhanced edition. It has crashed on me a couple of times. So I don't know if if it's stable enough for a run right now. We'll see. But I had a blast with this run, guys. One of my most favorite runs on the channel yet. I hope you guys had a blast. I had 
great time. It was fun. We got all the DLC done. We we annihilated the DLC. It was great. I don't. We we totally gave some schmied. It was it was great. I had a blast. And as always, you know, if if you loved it, you know, give a like, leave some comments. Always love the oh. feedback. And I'll join you guys next time when we pick out a new game. This video probably will be up soon. Sometime uh, mid-May, I'm guessing. So, I might have picked the game out by then. But like I said, I could do two games at once. Or I could just rotate them. You know how it goes. Or the idea, If the idea is in the holster, it could be used. You know what I'm saying? I'm still thinking about doing Arkham Asylum soon, actually. Because... Origins was done a while ago, and I'm trying to do the whole Arkham verse. So, we are out here, guys. As always, thanks for watching. This was really fun.